Hey guys, here's a little behind the scenes of a recent YouTube video I just finished up. My hands are getting cold, plane's yeah, getting brittle. It's the RC food airplane, and I got some of these Insta360 cameras to help document the behind the scenes, so let's take a look. <laughs> So like I said, I got these 360 cameras. You can see this one, I just have it on a pole in the back here. I thought it'd be cool because it'd give me like an aerial shot that's like locked in. <laughs> so stupid. Let's just do this, come on, hurry up. But this is a recent YouTube video from Peter Schriepel that we just worked on and man, it took weeks. And these airplanes are made out of food products and this is the first launch. And I just thought it'd be fun just to show you a little bit of the chaos. <laughs> and just show you some of the shooting style. This one isn't the greatest shooting style because most of it was made and designed to shoot with the 360 cameras. But I thought it'd be neat just to show you how I compose some of the shots and stuff. I don't really use a lot of this footage, so I just need a couple seconds of, right, like that. Boom. Get a couple seconds of that. Behold. <laughs> That's and then we just throw the airplane and go. But walking around, I'm still using the Sony 6500. And I'll put a link in the description for all the camera information and the link to the actual final video of this if you want to check it out. And I'm using a switch pod. It's a little bit trickier because obviously I'm holding this 360 camera too. It's pretty neat just to see. You can see the final shot on the right and just a little bit of what's going on on the left-hand side. Oh, man. Tiny little world of shooting a YouTube video. So the unique thing is the Insta360 X3 camera that I'm using, I'm holding it. You can't see it really though. And I have it in small planet mode, but I just have it kind of tucked under my arm so you can get that look from my point of view. And some of these shots, like I said, are a little shaky just because I have this extra camera. And the majority of the video was only gonna be these really quick snippets. This is my creation. Good? Yeah, give me some time. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh. Holding it out. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it's promise. It was like going, going, and then it went. And so shots like this I knew I wanted to use where the guys were all looking at the phone there. They're checking out the replay. And these are shots that in my mind I'm already kind of editing as I'm shooting because I'm like, all right, this is the stuff that I'm going to need the main camera for, which is their reactions to this. And then I get a few seconds of that, and then I try to run around the back to kind of get an over the shoulder to see what they're looking at. And by then it was kind of over too soon, so I didn't really get too much of that. But you can kind of see the process. So in my mind, I'm constantly editing in my head of out while I'm shooting, knowing like, all right, this looks good. I'm going to use a few seconds of this. Let's get going. Let's get, going. Are you ready? get a little bit further back. Get a few seconds of that. Oh, yeah! No way! No way! That one flew the best so far. <laughs> I know the old days I used to film a lot of airplane videos and I used to have a viewfinder and I'd be locked in. I'd have a shoulder rig and it was just so steady. And this is so much more not steady. You seem very optimistic it's going to fly. And it's a little hard to watch even for me because I'm like watching this back and I'm like, man, I'm just all shaky. But this was happening super fast. The wind's coming in. It's super windy. And I knew the majority of the footage, like I said, was going to be with these 360 cameras. Man, and that was the other thing. It was just crash after crash. I was like losing hope in that. It's all over the place. I'm gonna have to change the design again. Dang it. Today in Ohio, it is a blurry, blurryful, blisterful, <laughs> terrible March day. The winds are very strong. It's snowing, which is obviously ruining our chances of flying because cold food is brittle food. Come on, hurry up. It was right. wild. In this course this of this March day, day we had sunshine and then full on snow blizzard. It was crazy. Hey! The majority of it is just me documenting and I'm looking at anything that I think is interesting is what I point the camera at. Ah, the snow is too powerful. I don't believe it's the snow. I'm pretty sure that's you. I'm just moving around here and as we've been going through a few of these airplanes, I keep thinking like, I want to get different angles on this stuff, but it just, it's over so fast. I mean, we're talking like five seconds and this plane just crashes then we're out back into the shop building a new one. Typically when we go out to the field and I know there's gonna be multiple times that we're gonna be shooting, I try to get different angles every time I'm out there. But unfortunately, because of just the urgency of us getting out to this field, my shots are pretty much from the same angle almost every time. I knew that it was gonna go up and come down pretty quick, but at least with the 360 cameras, it gives us some other angles. And I know the view that you're watching right now is pretty much just my little tiny planet view. 
but the final episode which i'll link in the description is worth watching because it has so many different cool shots that we totally would have missed if it was just dependent on me and my shaky camera work I've been using this setup for probably two or three years now with the switch pod tripod and I just hold the camera and you can see that I'm kind of like moving with my thumb that's autofocus but I'm doing zoom on the lens like that so I can get the snap zoom and we've been working together long enough that I kind of know when they're talking and if I'll show a replay like I said I'm always editing in my head at this point so the times that I'm showing them on screen I already know like all right I'm going to use this part where I'm looking at them on screen and then the other times I just leave the camera rolling so I can at least just get them talking because I know I'll use those sound bites for the replays and stuff like that. How do I never end up on the right end of that plane ever? And there's a perfect example where I totally missed that shot, but the 360 camera got it. Yeah. It was such a bummer because I kept setting myself up on the wrong side of where I thought this plane was going to go. And that's just me. And I'm just not good at judging where these planes are going to land. I hope you enjoyed it. A little behind the scenes. Go ahead and check the link in the description. You can watch the full episode. Thanks for watching. Knob Top, go make something. Make it look most ridiculous as possible. This is my creation. It's very nice. This is all. Oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>